New tonight, Georgia's film industry is thriving despite the pandemic. That's according to a Kennesaw State economist who has analyzed the state's film tax credit. The film industry is politically popular, even though the cost to keep it continues to rise. 11 Alive's Doug Richards has more on what it's done and how much it's costing all of us, the taxpayers. Folks here at the Capitol like to talk about how much economic development the film industry brings to Georgia. They tend to talk less about how much it costs. Boosters say Georgia has become one of the most popular filmmaking destinations in the world, all thanks to tax credits the state created more than a decade ago direct payments from the state treasury to filmmaking businesses. There's companies that are continuously coming in here and saying, hey, why go anywhere else when we can go to Georgia? Lishers um, Mahone rents automobiles to the film industry, making him an indirect beneficiary of Georgia's generosity to an industry that reopened within only a few months after COVID stalled much of the economy. Is that the return on investment? Economist J.C. Bradbury says the state subsidy of the film industry climbed to more than a billion dollars last year. What happened with the film tax credits is that taxpayer dollars, instead of going to state treasuries, go to the film industry. And that's money that actually leaves the state for the most part, since the film industry is located largely outside the state of Georgia. Bradbury says each household in Georgia paid $220 annually to support the film industry in 2019. Three years later, he says that amount shot up by one third to $330 per household. And now we're working on developing original content. Tang Ho opened a small uh, film studio three years ago. He sees a state where Republicans demonize Hollywood liberals, yet funnels tax money to an industry rooted in Hollywood. Um, I, it is surprising uh, that, that it's still here, and I hope that it stays that way. And that seems likely. Next week, Governor Kemp will hold a ceremonial groundbreaking at an expansion for a film studio. At the Capitol, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.